Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And what a powerful time it is as we are starting this month. We are doing so under the energy of last month's new moon. Late last month, we had a supremely harmonious, very fortunate new moon. Well, that energy is with you as you are starting the month. But as we navigate towards the middle of the month, the energy is going to shift as energy has a tendency to do. But for you in particular, this is going to be a powerful shift at that. And that is because we are going to have a full moon in your sign. Now, part of what makes this full moon that much more interesting is that it is happening mighty close to Neptune in your sign. And Neptune will, under the light of the full moon, be perfecting a connection with Mars opposite Neptune. And of course, Mars mighty close to the sun. And it is this connection between Neptune and Mars that happens about once every two years. It is more rare for it to take place with one of these planets in your sign. In fact, you will only get this during this period of time as, as Neptune moved into your sign in 2012, will be here until the middle of the next decade. Well, during that time, think about it, about every two years, you're only gonna have a handful of times, right? Maybe six times of this energy. And then not again for the rest of your life. In other areas of life, yes, but at least not in your sign. Now this can be truly defining in and of itself. It tends to represent a time when you're looking at your hopes and your wishes and your dreams, especially where it comes to another person and how another person fits into that. And this can be one of those times that dramatically changes a particular alliance. It could be professional, it could be personal. But then you add all the energy, all the emotion of the full moon, and it brings all of these feelings right to the surface. So again, it could be that this energy plays out more in terms of a business alliance. For others of you, it's gonna be related to love and what's happening in love. But because the full moon is in your sign, it means that there is some moment of truth for you. There is some sense of awareness or connection around yourself and who you really are and what it is that really matters to you most and matters to you first and where it is that you feel that you have that and you're connected to that in your own life and where it is that maybe you feel because of your alliance with another person that you have compromised too much. There are some compromises that are good, right? They're healthy, they encourage us, they challenge us, they bring us out of our comfort zone, they make us more. But there are times when we may find ourselves needing to compromise in a way that doesn't feel right, that, that feels like it's provoking us, that's pushing buttons. And that's the kind of energy we have here. And I'm so sorry to say, but what this really is, is the truth. Now, the truth isn't going to be obvious right away under the energy of the full moon. There's just too much emotion for that. Too much is changing for that right away. However, Pluto and Saturn are connecting with this full moon harmoniously. So it does look like because of your connection to other people, friendships in particular are gonna be part of helping to ground this energy, helping you to see things from a healthier, more detached perspective. But it is ultimately the fact that four days after this full moon, right around the 18th of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, Saturn will go direct. And what that means is it really is going to be your associations with others that are going to restore a sense of stability into your life. So here are some things to remember. Whatever may be happening within you, with another person, with your expectations or otherwise, the important thing is to stay connected to yourself to keep that connection to an awareness of what you are feeling, but also keep perspective. Know that your own feelings may change. How you're interpreting a particular situation may change as well. If it feels like someone, again, it could be a business partner, right? It might be more personal, which I'll talk about in a moment, but if it feels like someone is wanting to exit your life, this actually could be a great gift, and you become aware of what a great gift it is, once we navigate just a little bit beyond the heightened emotion of the full moon. 
If it is that, it looks like things are changing within a matter of heart, that too could be a great gift as well. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, that is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. It has to do with personal transformation. It has to do with regeneration, but it also has to do with your relationship with financial institutions, and it has to do with access to resources, redefining wealth as well. The main characteristic of this new moon is that it is standing across the sky from Chiron, which means whatever is transpiring is provoking a healing moment and a healing experience for you. It may be raising your vulnerabilities as well. To ask for help from others is actually a gift that we give. We give other people the gift to be there for us, which is very powerful in and of itself but it can be hard sometimes to ask for what it is we want, whether it's emotional support, uh, whether it's spiritual uh, support or insight, and financial support as well can be particularly challenging. However, there are moments when, in being open to receiving help, that we realized how well loved and cared for we are by a loving universe. And so that might be one way this energy manifests for you. The other may be that, in order to take on some new endeavor, you may have to interact with a financial institution. And as part of that, you may be having to look at your own finances in a way that provokes your sense of vulnerability. And that's okay as well. It is important to keep these things in perspective. Remember this. When we have such strong financial energy, like a new moon, it means that the money you need is there. It means that the universe is saying, show up, do your best and surrender the rest and everything will be provided for to you, which is a beautiful way to use this energy to tap into this energy. However, it's also important to realize that whatever may be happening on a financial front, ultimately it is simply a symbol. And I know that's hard when you're right in the middle of it, but here's the thing, ultimately our entire physical experience and what is happening there, is illusionary. It is there to help us to learn deeper spiritual lessons. And when it is that we take our perspective off of the spiritual lesson that we can get very caught up in some external circumstance. That's where you want to be careful. The great gift of this energy is inviting you to tap into something deeper, to understand where it is that a transformed perspective now can empower you, can give you peace, can change your life, can lift you up but if you stay focused on the more minutia of what's happening in your external environment, well then you lose a great opportunity to be better in some way, to redefine wealth, to realize the riches that are available to you. And of course your personal transformation is covered here as well. If it is that you are involved in any journey of change, physical change, psychological change, well this is where you can experience an important moment that serves as a touchstone for you moving forward. Now, where it comes to matters of love, let's go back to the middle of the month and that full moon in your sign. It is right around that full moon that uh, we are also going to have Venus change signs, leave your opposite sign as well. And so what this says is your focus is starting to change. Whereas the first part of the month, it looks really nice where it comes to matters of love. Again, it's that new moon energy from late last month that you're bringing in. But it is mid-month that you're asking yourself some very important questions. You're looking at whether or not you are being challenged in healthy ways or not. You're looking at the ways in which you are being provoked and how you really feel about it and whether or not it works for you going forward. So in this way, it is going to be a moment of honesty. It is going to be a very uh, all or nothing kind of moment for those of you who are engaged in a journey of romantic love. If you're open to meeting someone new, well, it is around the full moon. Look, if someone hasn't already presented themselves to you early in the month or late last month, well, it is going to be this full moon that brings love very much to the surface for you. You'll be looking at where you are in love and why, what you really believe about love, what it's asking for from you. And you are looking at where it is that you are ready to make a more meaningful change. Now, as part of this, this could mean that you do attract somebody new. Ultimately, it is the exchange, the back and forth 
that is going to help you to understand something about where you are in love and why and how you really feel about it. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, again, this is such a make or break moment. This is really you looking at your attraction to this person, looking at what it is within you that has brought forward this particular dynamic. And there's a part of you that's looking at whether you are being challenged in ways that are healthy or ways that are not. Now your answers are going to be uniquely your own, but this is an energy that as much as it could separate two people, it can also bond two people that much closer together. And for those of you who are in an established bond, you know, this can represent a need to compromise. This can represent a real difference of opinion. And again, it could be at this time that you are feeling especially provoked and you're not sure how to feel about it. Getting the advice or perspective of a friend could be very helpful to you. At the same time though, there is a sense now of you moving forward you realizing something about the dynamic that the two of you share and whether that is leaving a, a hurt or a dynamic or something uh, of the past behind the two of you so you can move forward together that much more strongly well that is the most likely scenario the two of you are being more honest with each other in a way that either is going to make you feel vulnerable or could feel a little bit too personal you know it could feel uncomfortable at this time but it may actually be necessary to bond the two of you closer together in very rare instances this could be an energy that helps you to feel that maybe this isn't the person for you however i think that's very unlikely there's no surprise energy at this time okay so what that means is it's not like something's going to come out of nowhere this is energy that has been there, that's been there for a long time, that you're looking at now, that just is feeling especially emotional at this time. So if it is that there are things that need to be healed within your bond, it is the opportunity to heal that's going to come up at this time. It's just going to become more apparent. But I do think that for most of you, though, this is going to be a time of being more vulnerable, of being more honest, and of realizing ultimately the value of the bond and what it is that you are willing to work towards to keep the two of you that much stronger and that much more in love together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I am gonna say that full moon. Yes, there's a lot of hopes and wishes and dreams at that time. There isn't necessarily a lot of clarity right away, but that comes rather quickly. But having a full moon in your sign is so valuable because it helps you to know who you are. It helps you to see something authentic within you. And it helps to clarify your path at the same time. And where it is that you ground yourself in faith but not get caught up in an illusion, well, you will find your compassion grows for yourself and for others. A sense of inspiration starts to rise. And you know that your life is going to continue to move in a beautiful direction. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.